Okay, so let's just hear from a few examples that we have here. And, and the next speaker is really, really interesting, uh, especially for the startup people here. I think most of the people have heard of Yplan. If you haven't, you'll hear now. But these are uh, two guys from Lithuania who are doing this amazing startup in London. And it might be the next, the next success case that we're going to you know, be using when we're boasting about Lithuania. So Viktoras from Yplan. Hi guys, uh, my name is Victorus. Uh, first of all, I'd really love to thank Startup Lithuania for, uh, for hosting me here. It's, uh, at the same time, it's very humbling and very exciting to speak in front of the Lithuanian audience. Uh, today, I'd like to uh, quickly uh, uh, talk about uh, Yplan and uh, uh, what we've been middling in London and how far we've got so far. Um, our vision of Yplan is basically to uh, uh, take over uh, global entertainment industry. So uh, entertainment industry is huge, however, it's not utilized. Uh, at the moment, the utilization rates are about 50%, meaning that a lot of seats in theaters, cinemas, uh, other, other entertainment uh, are, uh, are empty or are unutilized. There's no uh, last minute marketplace. And um, I really you know, share Roy's enthusiasm on, uh, on mobile and smartphones. And I think uh, smartphones unlock uh, opportunity to create marketplaces which were simply not possible before. Uh, in our case, it's basically uh, allowing you to uh, discover and book entertainment tickets at the very, very last second. Uh, so on, on customer side, it's very uh, attractive proposition because uh, you actually don't really need to plan in advance. You don't need to print any paper tickets. Uh, you don't need to call anyone to reserve your seats. From the event partner side, it's the one and only channel to sell tickets at the very last minute. Uh, on the customer side, uh, we have an iPhone a native app, which looks, uh, looks like this. It's basically um, following, you know, keep it simple, stupid principle. Two clicks to book uh, a ticket, and then you get it delivered to your phone, uh, which you could add to Passbook. And uh, the only thing you need to do afterwards is to show up at the venue, show the ticket, uh, they let you in. At the moment, uh, we, uh, well, this is a slide basically which uh, has some familiar names from Lithuania and maybe less familiar names from, from Europe. Uh, we are backed by top investors uh, and closed our first round in July last year, which allowed us to uh, grow the team from uh, two of us to a team of 20 right now and uh, launch uh, London in uh, November last year. Uh, we are now at uh, 150,000 downloads, uh, which is pretty impressive for a uh, mobile commerce app, which is not a social network or, you know, cat picture sharing app. Um, growth is driven mostly by virality. It's uh, roughly in 8% of all London uh, iPhones, so there's still a lot of uh, room uh, and space to grow. And... Uh, this basically shows a few pictures of uh, our team uh, having fun together. Uh, I think uh, I was asked by uh, Vitotas to talk a little bit about uh, you know, the, the backstory of the whole thing. How did we start uh, to do that? Uh, which I think could be interesting for you guys if you are still kind of deciding should you leave your job, do a startup, or should you do something on the side? Uh, I've uh, met my co-founder uh, Rites back in, uh, in, in college uh, 10 years ago now. and. Uh, I've, uh, I've been studying computer science, machine learning, artificial intelligence in Germany, and then uh, left uh, to uh, London to work for investment bank. Uh, Rita uh, uh, was working in growth capital firm. And, uh, you know, after working six years in, in investment banking, we decided that, uh, you know, maybe it's enough and uh, maybe there's something more, more interesting and more exciting to do with our time. So uh, we, just, uh, we just left. Uh, got ourselves a huge whiteboard, put it in my living room, and basically we're going through uh, uh, all the verticals of the uh, of the economy, like entertainment, like uh, going out, like uh, dining, like uh, listening to music, uh, and um, on the other dimension, we had all the biggest trends. Again, following from you know Mary Meeker uh, slides and the like, uh, that being smartphones, mobile payments, uh, and other big changes which are you know definitely happening in the world. And looking at the intersections, we would uh, figure out, you know, so what, what interesting problems are there? So let's say going out and smartphones. Um, 
given that everyone will have a smartphone, you know, in two, three years, what is there which uh, could be done differently, how people consume entertainment, for example. So uh, by going through that systematically, we basically came up with something like uh, 50 ideas, and, and Yplan, I think, was idea number 51. Uh, we uh, started testing it out early in uh, January last year by uh, uh, building a prototype websites, building prototype app. Uh, we ran that app for about uh, two months with our kind of friends of friends and uh, got very, very positive feedback, which then led uh, to, to investment and then very kind of quick, uh, quick growth. So right now, uh, our plans for Yplan is basically expanding uh, into, into other big cities. It only works in, uh, in, in, a, in a densely populated area where smartphone penetration is high and uh, people, are, you know, people can spend money on discretionary items. So the next, uh, the next, the next uh, stop for us would be New York and maybe six, seven big cities uh, in US uh, next coming year. I think that probably summarizes it and I, I would be very open uh, for, for any questions from the audience. Say again. So, how do you square against Eventbrite and uh, similar offerings? So the question was, how do we compare against Eventbrite? Uh, so Eventbrite is um, is a website which allows you to uh, post your own event or you know something for a conference organizer to post, which allows them to uh, which does the ticketing for you. In our case, it's a bit uh, different. Uh, we are working with existing, uh, let's say, with, with theaters or music bands, and uh, we allow them to sell the remainder of the tickets at the very last minute. So we're not coming in as a full stack uh, ticketing solution. Uh, we're saying we're going to drive purely incremental revenue, and uh, we know that's the case from our surveys. About 90% of the people who book, they claim that they haven't heard about, about an event before. So Eventbrite, you could see it more as um, kind of do-it-yourself ticketing platform. Yplan is more like uh, there are all these extra seats, even though you know PR wants you believe that everything is sold out, but there are these extra seats, extra tickets available which perish, and Yplan allows you know to sell them uh, to, to 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 the audience. So what's your pricing model? So the business model on Wipeland is basically we're taking a cut of every ticket sold, given that uh, these tickets would go unsold otherwise because there's no extra channel, uh, the margins could be in, in the range of you know, 20 to 30%. Is it a fixed price modeling or is it a dynamic, for example? So this is a very, very good question. Uh, the prices you see there is basically, they are usually the same price as the uh, event organizer advertises, purely for a couple of reasons. Like we usually, have a small discount, which helps people to decide, or we usually have a small, uh, you know, perk or special. So, like, you come to the cinema, they give you a free glass of wine that helps people to, you know, incentivizes them to book. However, uh, you cannot uh, go uh, secondary market route and increase these prices dynamically because there's a huge uh, customer backlash because they would start seeing you as scalpers rather than someone who's adding value and helping to discover things. Do we have any? Oh, Roy. So, so there's actually no beneficial price. It's actually the ticket price is pretty static compared to if you were buying well in advance. Exactly. That's right. That's the right thing. It's pretty much uh, what you would usually see if you went online and tried to buy. But in this, in our case, you can't really go online. There's no these tickets anymore. You know, usually the process is that these tickets are being you know sent to you via mail or or something like that, and they are just go off sale up to, you know, from like 48 to 96 hours before the show starts. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's... People aren't waiting. People wouldn't wait and try and get a better price because they're, that's not what it's about. It's about discovery. It's about discovery, basically. So we're not targeting the uh, super fans of Madonna, let's say. So if you like Madonna, you know that she's going to tour, you know, uh, Europe in, in three months. You would go and buy tickets in advance. However, I'm not a big fan of Madonna, and you know, if, if, even if she's touring, I don't really care. But if I see it on Y Planet, hey, Madonna is playing tonight, I'm like, yeah, you know, maybe you know, I would like to go out and 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 you know, Madonna is still a top top class act, and uh, by you know, working with lots of promoters, we know that there would still be seats available there, and for them, it's 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 incremental revenue.
Do we have any other questions from the audience? I'd like to ask a question. Sure. Um, over your journey, which is, I suppose, just beginning, what was you know, the number one thing that you've learned and that you can sort of tell the audience here? What was your most amazing experience that you learned a lot from? So, you know, number one thing is that, of course, it's, it's not easy. Um, I think uh, what really um, helped us is, is effectively just being you know, persistent and, uh, and, and going forward. I think uh, the good thing about you know, running your own business as compared to uh, working in banking is that uh, you deal with different challenges every, uh, every day, basically. So every day is different. Uh, the exciting bit about that is that you, know, you get to choose who you work with. So every day is exciting because you wake up and you're like, OK, I'm going to work. And it's going to be all the people I just feel so great about working with. Um, I think uh, you know, the, the key thing for us, for example, launching it was that we were able to, to quickly iterate and quickly test many things till we, till we stumbled uh, on, on Wiplan. I think in early stages, that's, that's probably most important, just being, a, being, being quick, being agile, and being able to test things out quickly. Any questions from the audience? I suppose everyone wants to know more, but probably they will come to you personally and ask <laughs> you questions afterwards. Uh, so, okay, thank you, Victoras. Thanks very much. <laughs>